What's going on guys, it's Michael here and I'm back with another Squad Busters video and today's video is about the tier list September 2024 and I'm gonna uh, add the new character Optimus Fam as you can see uh, because of the webcam I cannot uh, show it perfectly but it is in the tier list so let's go without wasting your time and first thing that I want to clear is that this is only for the super form if you have the ultra and if you have the ultimate in your squad then I'm not considering that form because in the ultra and in the ultimate the character change a lot so that's why i'm just considering the only super form because most of player have unlocked all this super form of all the characters so according to that i am making the character and it might be not according to you so don't be sad okay so let's start without wasting your time and definitely always the first is the king and the queen which are the absolutely a piece Steel Beast, we just have not got any nerf of any character, so we got in the last update, but it's not of like that much. So Barbarian King and the Archer Queen is definitely on the top of our, top of the list as usual. So and why they are the on the top of the list in the S tier list always because one is increasing the attack speed of the melee character and one is increasing the attack speed of the all range character. So combination with two, your squad become too strong. So that's why they are on the top now let me just show you directly the optimus prime and i'm gonna put the optimus prime in the air he is not that much good to be in the s list because we have the archer queen and we have the barbarian king in the s which are absolutely a better choice than the optimus prime also optimus prime is the epic character so getting the ep uh, epic character in the game it's really hard because we only get the epic chest in the last one minute and if you have the barbarian king and archer queen then i will still prefer the archer queen and the barbarian king so that's why optimus prime is in the l list now i'm gonna put the wizard wizard is like the one time character that there is the no tier for the wizard because wizard is the one time pick character if you pick the one time then it's okay you really don't need to be the fusion or not need to be the second form i mean the second wizard in your squad just one wizard will be okay so i'm just gonna put him in the b and always keep in mind that just pick wizard one time at least you can just put him in the list. he is just two he is always pick character i mean uh, uh, if i calculate the two spell is always better than the one spell so keep in mind this line the two spell is always better than one spell so wizard is the bs okay now i'm gonna put my favorite character and it is the bb is too much strong by the way but there is the one condition that you have to uh, pick the b and that is the alone b is not enough you have to pick at least the three b's then this b going to be the effective otherwise it's not gonna be that much effective so b is in the alice now i'm gonna pick the archer and it is also the a character he is okay ultra form it might be a s character or above the a if i make the tier list of the ultra because at the ultra his damage just gonna increase he gonna uh, shoot the arrow really fast so that's why and super form he is just a list Barbarian is also the A-list, we have not got any nerf or buff of the Barbarian but he is one of the best all-rounder, the complete all-rounding package if I calculate then it is the Barbarian and it's always a, a category if we get some buff of the Barbarian then it might be in the A but keep in mind that the ultimate form of the Barbarian is too much strong and it can be in the a -list, but this is for the super form only. Now before moving on to my next pick which is absolutely a controversial pick if you guys liking the video make sure you give a like and if you are first time just to subscribe for upcoming videos because upcoming video is about the dynamic and dynamic is not that much bad now trust me guys the next video I'm just gonna upload is about the dynamic and he's just too strong he his attack just got the buff he got the buff by the way if you don't know and his buff is absolutely insane and he that reason i am just gonna put the dynamic in the b and for the more detail you have to watch that uh, dynamic video that's why i am saying just to subscribe to the channel now next i am gonna pick the worst character of the game and it is the dr t i don't know why the squad buster is not buffing the dr t we definitely need the buff of the dr t and just don't pick the dr p doesn't matter which game mode you are playing don't pick the dr t it is the worst character of the game he's not gonna help you a lot if the crab is staying with your team then it can be a best pick but otherwise we don't see that any uh, detail about the buff of the dr t i heard one time that 
we will get the two crab but getting the more crab is not uh, good but staying with the team it's more important that's why t i mean dr t is the worst list same like the royal king if the royal king's guardian staying with the royal king then it was be a best but unfortunately they are not so that's why the dr t and the royal king is the worst character of the game now let's pick some healer uh, for the best healer i'm gonna put the medic where is the medic gone why i can't see the medic here yeah here we go medic is at your list is definitely his ceiling just got the buff if you don't know then it's absolutely insane so medic is always a you have you can pick the pam over the medic you can pick the battle healer battle healer also is in a list these are the three healers we have in the game and all of three i will gonna put the medic as a first choice he's gonna heal your squad continuously pam has just one disadvantage that you have to stay in that circle but staying in the circle is not good when you are fighting with the team and you are in the last minute so you have to keep running and that's the reason why i will pick the medic over i mean the medic over pam and battle hero just gonna increase your squad health by 600 if you may if you may able to make the fuse of the battle hero then absolutely insane so that's why uh, battle hero is a but he just also healed the squad too so that's why uh, I'm gonna pick the battle healer and medic in the A and pen in the B. Now I'm gonna put the goblin. Goblin, we have not got anything about the goblin. At ultra form, he's just gonna drop a more uh, gold coin, but that is not enough because let me just to calculate one thing. Uh, imagine that you pick the goblin first, you made the goblin fusion first, you will get the coin, but it's gonna increase your squad side pick and if you calculate all the chests then it's gonna cost you a five gold coin every time more so it's okay to don't pick the goblin in the early game in the double character game mode it's definitely a best choice all above all the character but in the other mode it's not that much good now i'm gonna pick the cold cold is definitely uh c not the c he is the b list his damage is absolutely insane we got the buff uh buff in the hp of all characters so that's why he is not that much squishy now and you can just pick in the early game if you don't have any farmer in your squad like if you don't have the greg if you don't have the mavis in lineup you definitely can pick the greg and burst the monster very fast and uh, makes your uh, squad very strong so that's why the cult is in the piece the same like the bow where is the bow gone bow 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 where is you okay bow is in the series except the i mean the cult has the advantage of getting the more damage to uh, squad member to i mean the but the bow only increase his attack on the attack monster so if you are playing in the mod like uh, the goblin goblin load then chest imposter these are the mod where, where actually the monster is more where the bow is absolutely a best character otherwise he is in the series he's also the squishiest one from now i'm gonna pick the hog rider as a s tier i really don't need to say anything about the hog rider we all know the hog rider and the max what they can do that speed is the ultimate key to win the game and hog rider and the max is absolutely a piece i'm gonna put the chicken in the b list because chicken most of players just don't know the things about the chicken but chicken is very important in the squad league when you are playing against a top class player because the one thing that you have to keep in mind that when you are playing against a top class player they all gonna rush to middle and they're gonna destroy all the blue boxes so if you are thinking that the blue box is now giving the two turbos then it is enough no it is not enough against the top class player if you not if you have watched the top class player the tournament video then you realize that they're gonna pick the chicken as fast as they can because it's gonna increase the turbo capacity and in the top class top class battle there will be a no blue box available in the middle because all gonna rush to the blue boxes and gonna collect them so that's why the chicken is absolutely a beast to pick to increase the turbo capacity the bandit got the buff and it is absolutely insane but because now bandit super home gonna deploy a five more chance that is absolutely good if you uh, collect three bandit then it's directly gonna give you a 45 gems which is absolutely a good so that's why bandit is a now the mavis i'm gonna put in the b is okay the putting the b mavis mavis is the okay character not gonna help you a lot in the late game in, definitely the best pick in the first minute but later he's just not gonna do anything because if you have the lineup in the mavis all player have the 
uh, mavis in the lineup and they all gonna pick the carrot as fast as they can and you will you will have the less carrot to pick so that's why i'm gonna put the p and the mavis in the p list the greg is definitely <coughs> about the mavis the loot of the uh, tree is uh, it's around the picking the carrot but problem is that if you um, to, to get the maximum capacity of the mavis you guys need the fusion mate but one uh, greg is also you know but if you manage to fusion the greg then it's gonna chop the one to and it is very fast to farm the ball and that's why he is in the a list and mavis in the b list i'm gonna put the el primo in the series we got the buff of el primo which is absolutely a good buff but uh, it's still not that much enough people not gonna pick the el primo but trust me el primo is not that much bad from now they're gonna increase the damage from and the El Primo and also increase the health of the El Primo. Now he is just perfect tank like the other Sanita. Is also I'm gonna prefer in the B list. His beer is absolutely annoying things in the game. And if you are playing in the double ganker game mode, the B's beer is absolutely annoying things in the game. So that's why uh, it's gonna protect you a lot because the B are gonna stay with you. That's why he is in the B. Otherwise, there will be in the D list if the beer is not gonna stay with you. But he is staying with the team. The tank, I really don't need to say about the tank, why he is absolutely a beast character than the trader is, I really don't need to say anything about the trader and the tank. Trader is absolutely a uh, best character of the game that gonna help you a lot when you are staying on the 6th or 7th position and in the last 1 minute all the uh, things gonna give a double coin and at that time trader gonna shine a lot and trader is the perfect character to win any game with the high chance. That's why he is in the S list always. The Leon I'm gonna put in the A. He is not the S, but he is the A. With the latest uh, rework of the Leon, we realized that he is just easy to use now. Otherwise, it was a little bit confusing that you have to focus on the yellow and blue thing. Now, if you are running, you are not gonna be a visible. That's it. Now, it's simple and it's okay. It's not that much increasing the speed. And he's the speedster, but okay, speedster for me right now. Same with the Ice Wizard, I'm gonna put the Ice Wizard in the Alice. His damage just reduced by the way. He just got the small nerf of the damage and it's still that Ice Free spell is absolutely insane and that's why he is in the A list. Next one is the Penny. Penny I'm gonna put in the A. The always pick the Penny, pick that treasure and you will get the key from there is a high chance that you are going to get the key from that and also in the last minute it's absolutely a good to pick the treasure that gonna give you more gems and that's enough gems to put you in the top 5 position that's why he is in the a list the Sally i'm gonna put in the a list also the Sally is damage Sally. i mean Sally is absolutely one of the best character just like the barbarian he's just gonna do a lot of things but you guys will less realize that the Sally is very important in many mod when you are fighting with the team that gonna force enemy squad to stay away from you trust me he is just absolutely insane. they're gonna just spread enemy squad and you can just easily bust them that's why the Sally is always a the miner i'm gonna put in the b i really don't see that much good thing in the miner he is the okay character the double ganker game mode only where the miner is gonna shine but otherwise it's okay character for me jesse is definitely a character he's Storage just gonna do a lot of damage against the monster that gonna help you a lot in the farming also trust me he is always but in the ultra form the jesse is absolutely insane because it started gonna shoot faster so that's why right now he is in the alice as a super form the mortis i'm gonna put the p he gonna just uh, give you a monster to protect your team that's it but it's just one time pick character always so pick the mortis one time just uh, like the eyes i'm in the wizard only the next one is the witch and i'm gonna put the witch in the btls because i really don't think that he should be in the a or a stage because which uh, which has the good attack but uh, unfortunately uh, rather than the attack he she doesn't have anything to support the team like she can get one spell that can put a bunch of skeleton in the middle of the enemy but that not not gonna help uh, that much so that's the reason why i'm gonna put the b in the witch he's Basic attack is really strong but other than this he can be a good DPS to farming the monster if you drop the skeleton on the right time but uh, apart from that he is, he is just weak against his squad against the uh, many things so that's the reason why I'm gonna put the 
switch in the B list. Now I'm gonna put the heavy in the last because I really don't think any potential thing in the heavy. The quality is better than the heavy in in if I compare the attack speed and in the defending capability, we have a lot of defender from now. Like we have the Optimus Prime, we have the Barbarian, we have the Barbarian King, we have the good HP of El Primo now. So why should I pick the combination of average attack and average health? So that's the reason why I'm gonna put the D, I mean the <clears throat> I mean the heavy in the last list and basically the last list is for the never pick character you should never pick this kind of character in real game so that's why it is in the T list now next one is the latest one and we I hope that everyone have unlocked the uh, Elita one and I'm gonna put the Elita one in the PE because she is just not good trust me I have played a lot of game with the Elita one and she is not that much copy like he see as the 10,000 HP as a fusion level but uh, that's not gonna help a lot his attack I mean her attack is okay you have to press the turbo to get the turbo she is much gonna stay longer but that's not enough to pick the Elita one like if I compare the other epic character keep in mind that Elita one and the prime is the epic character and you will rarely get chance to play with them and you have to select wisely if you really need them if you get in the early stage like in the first minute then definitely you should pick and the what, what is the main benefit of this optimus prime and elita one that no squad can entirely burst your squad basically there are lots of strong player and if someone trying to chase you and if you have the elita one and the optimus prime in your squad they will not gonna burst you and from now all i noticed then if you have the low squad like low member squad then the next chest just definitely gonna give you a super form i mean the fusion form of any character so which is absolutely a good and with that way no one gonna burst you that's the moment but it's her attack is okay her health is definitely a beast but as an attacker we don't expect this thing rather i will pick the archer queen the B, even, even I prefer the B over the Elita one. So hope you guys really enjoyed the video and if you really like the tier list. And if this, if this tier list is according to you, also make sure you give a like. And if you are first time, just to subscribe for upcoming more videos because the dynamic is absolutely insane. I am saying since the update and I'm gonna make the next dynamic video. So hope you gonna watch it. So have a good day and thank you so much for giving me your precious time.